Okay, so as we get ready to export a video to turn in for this project, we're going to make sure that we have all the pieces that we need. There should be an intro and titles introducing each of five sequences. Each sequence is supposed to have five pictures with keyframed movement and cross dissolves in between them. You can use different transitions in between the titles and the sequences but I'd really like that cross dissolve for a nice smooth motion in between. So yours should look very similar to this. Okay, at the end you need to have your credits scrolling at a good speed showing all the websites that these pictures came from. So before we get ready to export first we make sure that our gold focus is on the master sequence here and very important to check the work area bar. This is very useful for uh, exporting just parts of your video but when it's time to do the whole thing make sure that the end of the work area bar matches the end of your sequences and titles. If you have extra space you're going to end up with black video attached to it and we don't want that either. So let's get ready to export by going to File, Export, Media. It's going to bring up this screen right here where you can see the source video and then check the output video as well. You'll see that we're changing our format from NTSC DV, which is an antique format that is not very good quality, and we're changing it to a modern encoding format called H264. It makes our files end in MP4 instead of AVI. We're going to choose our preset here for Android, phone, and tablet 480p. I'm going to match it up with the 2997, which is approximately 30 frames per second. Once we do that, we're going to change our name here. We're going to be saving it to our period folder. So again, that's your data drive. Go to your period, and we're going to save the video right here, where there are subfolders for All About Me with all the pictures and All About Me project files. You'll notice that I did not add a soundtrack to this. That is because it is not required. I would rather you spend your time getting all the other pieces. So I'm going to put the date that I'm exporting this, 1409.27. I'm going to put my period, which is eighth period, last name, first name, all about me, the video. When you click Save, it's not actually exporting it yet. We're going to make some changes to the settings. You'll see the source and the output numbers are different. Scroll down on the video tab to where it says VBR 2-pass. We will use 2-pass encoding to get the highest quality for our file size. And what we're going to do is change the target bit rate until we get about 50 megabytes. That's a good size for this video for turn-in. You might not get it exactly. You can click and drag there. Something around 50 is what I'm looking for for this lower quality turn-in for grading. What we can do is then take the maximum bit rate and move it all the way up, which gives it more data to spend when there's a lot happening on the screen. When those transitions are happening, it may need more data. When it's just a title, it may need less. And so this allows it to spend more data on the active frames and spend less on the simpler frames. So we're not going to use maximum render quality either because that's going to slow down our encoding. But once we type, click on export, this is going to take a while. So don't do this towards the end of the period. This is something I expect you to be doing by the beginning of the period on Wednesday. You'll notice that this is going to take a while. I'm going to speed up the tutorial and tell you how much time it took. Okay, now that that's been exported, let's go take a look at it. We're going to go to the D drive where period 8 is, and there's our video. It's 50 megabytes, and we're going to take a look at it. So you'll notice that there is some jaggedy lines wherever there's diagonals. That's part of that NTSC DV problem. So don't worry about that. I'm not counting off for it, but I will show you how to export another version 
that's a lot nicer for going to put your video in with the best of class. So let's go ahead and upload this entire folder to our Google Drive. So here I am in my Google Drive using General Kruger and before you actually do file upload we're going to go clear out the scratch files that we have here. There might be a couple of different folders that say Adobe Premiere Pro in there. Just delete those so they don't take up much space. And if you do have a lot of old versions of your project, they don't really take up much room, but you can clear some of those out if you're sure your project is where you need to be. So I'm not going to delete these. I'm going to keep those and upload my entire period folder with the video inside of it. Let me go to my period 8 okay, and click upload. It's that easy. When this gets done, we're going to share it with the 6K technology at gmail.com so that I can grade your projects. We've done this once before. I'm going to go over it again. You'll notice it goes pretty fast once it's done with uploading that video. The rest of these are the individual pictures in that folder. So you're going to give me the latest version of your folder filled with pictures and the latest recipe and the video that you just exported as well. Okay, so now we have our share button here. I'm going to share it with 6K Technology at gmail.com. Now since you're in NEISD, you may get an extra message that tells you, hey, are you sure you want to share that with them? And you can turn off the email. You can see that it's shared. If you click on advanced, you'll notice it didn't make it in there. So let's actually say OK, skip the notification, and now you can see the little symbol for 6K. We can look at that after the fact. If you get it uploaded, forgot to share it, just select it and go to share. It says who it's shared with. Click on advanced to get a view of you, the owner, and me that you shared it with. Okay. Now, if you actually go into that folder and try and view the video at first, it won't be processed yet. This may be able to be viewed directly from Google Drive once Google's had a chance to take a look at it.